Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the critical Windows error 0x000019. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to disable any third party antivirus temporarily and see if that has resolved the problem. So just temporarily disable any real time shields and then give it a couple minutes and see if now you're no longer having the problem. And if you can trace it directly to the antivirus, I would suggest considering uninstalling it and replacing it with a different antivirus to be honest. The next thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in system restore, best match to come back with create a restore point or something along those lines. So just go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the system restore button and select that. So if you had any restore points created on your system, I would suggest selecting next and then restore your computer back to the most recently created restore point. So if you're still having a problem after all of that, I would suggest opening up the star menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a few commands listed in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one, which is a DISM command. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter the keyboard to run this command. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that command is done, you want to go run the second command here. So just paste that one in. Okay, so once that one is done, I'm going to just paste in the third command here. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the last one. I just want to show you guys how to run each of them. So then we're going to just run the third command here, the SFC command. And then once this one's done, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.